everybody and welcome back to a new video. I'm so excited to film this video, mainly because I haven't done a video in ages, but also it is a haul and it's a try on haul. And I love watching these and I know you guys like watching these. So the two shops I've been buying from uh, in this haul are Boohoo and British Things. So it's an online haul. These are sort of things that I've either saw and thought, oh, that's cool, or this is going to go towards a holiday, so, or a festival actually, in some cases. I'm going to start off with Boohoo, and I, we, like, ordered so much from Boohoo that it came in... So two of these bags turned up. I've opened it all and tried it all on and actually started wearing some of it, but we'll forget about that. So it came in two massive bags, and... Yeah, let's just say there's a lot of stuff. Obviously, some of this is all going back, but I just thought I'd show you what it all is and then I'll try on the stuff that I'm keeping because some of it that is going back doesn't fit, etc., etc. Right, let's start off with Boohoo. And I'm going to do shoes first. These are the first pair of shoes. Now, these, I know we shouldn't really be starting off with stuff that's going back, but these are going back because it was between this, these pair and the next pair. And these are just some chunky boots, but they're from Koi Footwear. They're not even from Boohoo. Koi Footwear and Boohoo do like this sort of thing, and I don't really understand, but they came in a Koi Footwear box, and they were 26 50 I got 25% off, that's why the like the money's a bit odd, but these were 26 50 and they are going back because they just look a bit chunky on. They're not really... They're cool, but they just look a bit cheap and not too sure on them. But yeah, pair of boots. The pair of boots I am keeping are these, which are also from Koi Footwear. They look like this. And I much prefer these. I wore these today, actually, with this outfit. So you can kind of see what jeans I've got on in the background. But yeah, they look really cool. Um, this sort of vibe with the bright, bright laces. I've seen them in red. I've seen them in white. It's quite in and they just look a bit like smaller, a bit more petite, even though they're pretty much the same size. Um, and these were 26.50 as well, but I like these a lot. Moving on to clothes. I got this bodysuit. It's annoying. I don't know any of the prices of this. I'm sorry. Um, it's a off the shoulder on one side and it's thong bikini, high rise. Bikini? High rise bodysuit, like really high rise. When I tried it on, I was like, it was like up here. But this is really nice. I'm keeping this one. Um, it looks really good with something else that I've got, which I'll show you in a bit. Another bodysuit, which I've already worn. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it on my story. And it is this bodysuit. It's really nice. They do it in other colors as well, which I think I might get because I love this. Um, but it's just, yeah, bright green, snake skin, print. I'm going to keep this one as well. The next bodysuit, but I'm not keeping it. I've just realised it's inside out because I tried it on. It is really cool, but it's just not been, like, the quality and how it's been made is faulty. So, this is it. It's a pretty cool little thing. Um... I was gonna wear it to a festival, but the neckline is like like really weird. It's like all the way out here, so it really scoops oddly low. It should be like up here. And then I don't know if you can see, but these these lines that go down here, when you put it on, it presses against like that. You can't like turn it round. So it's against your body like that. It is it doesn't look as great as it does like this. And it does all and it kind of, all the seams go a bit weird and you can see it. But if you're into that sort of thing, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool for festivals, but the quality is not great. So that is going back. Next thing is this off the shoulder crop top in black. And it's like ribbed. I don't know if you can, I'll just kick the tripod. It's like ribbed. Here you go. You can see that. It's ribbed material and it is really nice one and this was a 450 but obviously that was with the 25% off so I think it was like six something um yeah we we'll look cool with these nexuses actually and it's just an off shoulder like really simple it goes with everything 
yeah, I love it. It's really nice. I'm then going to the Spice Girls soon in June, I think it is. June the 13th. And I'm going with my friend Amy and we've got these matching t-shirts. <laughs> we've both got the same. She's got a white one. That say Ginger Sport... Ginger Sporty, Posh, Scary and Baby. And it's like an oversized t-shirt. And I think this is only £6. Something really cheap. Um, but I thought that'd be really cool with some trousers I've got. That I've brought. And the boots. The white and black boots. But yeah, I think that'd be really cool at the concert. Tied up. But yeah. It's the trousers that I was talking about. I got some flares, black flares, you can kind of see them in the mirror actually, um, and they're like really tight and they kind of just flare out at the ends and they look really nice on, obviously I will show you this all on, but yeah they look really nice on and yeah, I think these are the ones I'm keeping because I basically got two pairs and actually this might help you guys, I'm keeping these ones I think can't remember anymore. I think these ones looked, they both are very, very similar, but I think I'm keeping, oh. these ones are fit and flare, and these ones are literally just basic skinny flares, so you kind of get where you're going with that. Um, I'm going to try both on and see what I think, but I think it's these ones. I think I'm going to go for the fit and flare, just because they look more fitted, if you know what I mean. I've got one more top. This top I'm not keeping because, as my sister told me, I look like a Victor. I don't really like it anyway. And she said, you look like a Victorian slash Spanish dancer, which isn't really the look I'm going for this summer, um, unfortunately. But it looks like this. It's like, I don't really know how to explain this sort of. It's just a bit weird. Off the shoulder. Like this. There you go. That's how you can see it. And then the arms are the same. They kind of flare like bell sleeves. But yeah, it's not really that nice. And I think it was like tenner. So it's not really worth it anyway. So that's going back in its bag. Accessories. I got this belt bag, which I'm keeping. It's um like... It smells like leather. This is what I don't... It must be leather because it feels like leather. The whole inside's like leather. And this was, I think, like 12 or... 10 or 12 pounds. Um, belt bags are so cool. They literally just go across like that. Act as a belt in a way. But also, like, it saves having, like, a strap across you or that awkward... We, I suppose you could have it a bit like that. But it just looks... Quite subtle, I think. Like you've got all your stuff on you. You've got a place for your phone. You've got a place for your keys or your like money. But it also is kind of hidden away. Like no one really knows it. And it's just there for you, easy access. There's no straps involved. I really like belt bags. I think they're really good. And I also got this to experiment with the flares. This was I think twelve pounds, and it basically is a belt. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's well weird with this outfit but I thought if I wore the flares to a festival with a bodysuit this would really like dress it up and you could also use it on holiday with dresses and whatever but I really just brought it for festivals and my flares I just think it's quite cool and yeah that's my last thing from Boohoo so moving on to a little thing hey I have already decided things I'm sending back. You can see the numbers. Um, because a little rant about Pretty Little Thing. I think I've said this already. They're not as good as Boohoo. Like people, if you really look at Boohoo and find all stuff like that, it's pretty much the same as Pretty Little Thing. But Pretty Little Thing don't like making things properly. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They don't like actually thinking what this would look like on a real person rather than photoshopped onto the model, onto the website. And I don't get how they still get away with it because surely they just must have people send stuff back all the time. I've tried this thing so many times. 
ordered about 50 things and kept like one or two. With Boohoo, I really struggled to send things back and that is where good marketing comes in. So, let's start with this. This hat? No. Yeah. Might as well get it out of the packaging. I've sellotaped it all up, but I want to show you how this, I don't get how this could actually fit on one's head. Yeah. If I squeeze it on, it looks worse. It's just the most worse shape for someone's head. Okay, I suppose if you wanted to wear it like that, but who wants to wear a hat like that? Terrible. So yeah, that funny enough is going back. So next thing that's going back is this dress. You may see some of this stuff that is going back on my Instagram, but that is only because I think the, the clothes are cool. And if you like wear them, like tuck that bit in and then like hold that down in the photo, they look good. But as soon as you try to wear them out in public, they don't really work. But that was because I thought my Instagram might look quite cool. So I'm going to do that. I'm being honest. That is what happens. People do do that. They buy a whole that outfit from Prisha Thing wear it for a photo and then send it all back. Trust me, I've seen people do this. <laughs> and this is like a blazer dress, the buttons are up, and it has a belt that goes round. The buckle looks like this, it's just plastic, not great material. And yeah, it's just, you'll see when I put this on at the end of this video, it's not great. <laughs> Oh well, it's going back and I'm getting some money back so I can't complain. thing that is going back is this belt bag. It's a nice belt bag, really cool, but I knew I had already ordered the black one and I realised that black would be better as it goes with more outfits. And if I wore something like a printed top, like a snakeskin top for example, this would look a bit weird. I'm not even sure if it fitted in my phone, but also it smells like plastic. It's not great material. Like the actual material is cool, but the leather, pleather and stuff isn't that great. And it still cost me like 12 pounds. So I just kind of waited and found one that I preferred. But if you're only using it for a festival, this could be perfect, I guess. Next thing is this snake skin dress. If you follow my Instagram, this is all the on there. And I like this dress, it is nice. And I was thinking about keeping it, but it is really heavy and it would be for a summer holiday. And I was thinking about packing it, wearing it in the sun. And also the plunge is massive. So in my picture, I did like pull the two bits together. Um, like the plunge is so big that it literally would go like that. Like it just, there's nothing, there's no like protection there either. It all would just come out. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. It has got a slit in the side. And I think this was in the sale actually. Yeah, there's the slit. Um, but yeah, I do really like this. And I think it would work better in winter, in winter time because it's more thick, but it's up to you. Now, I did order loads of black dresses from Fish the Thing because I do like all their like mini dresses. I do have some of those. Oh, this is the one where I'm not even going to try it on the video because look at the okay it looks so nice on the camera but when this is on the straps are so low look it's see-through how can black be see-through didn't know that um it's just rubbish material and the sleeves are literally just like falling off all the time there's no your boobs do not stay in the dress um, and there's not even a way, it just doesn't look flattering at all. Next thing, I am just picking this out all randomly, so I'm sorry if it's all a bit like random, pretty much. Uh, I got this pretty thing sports bra, like so. It's really nice. I love the pit, I picked it up. Oh, I not picked it up. I put it in my bag because I really like the print and the design. However, it has got no bra support at all. It's also a bit see-through. 
So that's going there, and that was still like £12, so I wasn't that, that fussed about it. And also, I run in the gym, so that would just not help. Next thing, which is a... Oh, I love this dress, but I will tell you about it in a minute. So you, you will see this on my Instagram very soon, because I'm so excited to post this photo, because I love this dress. It's like this but it's cut out in the middle and it's like under, what do they say? Under bust, under bust design. So like your boobs just come out of the bottom. Um, it's really nice. However, the sizing is really off in this. The top half, half fits really well, but you can't really move your legs at the bottom. I do have thunder thighs, yes, but that's because I've just been on a ski season. So my thighs are like rock hard, massive. <laughs> so it's like really hard. It just felt a bit like I was going to be walking around town like, oh my god, pulling down my dress and mate, I've not got time for that. So it is really nice. I might turn around and just be like, I'm keeping this. But we'll see. Next is another dress. This is when we're going to just get a whole 30 minutes of me trying to unpeel all these bags again. So I didn't think I was going to do this video. This is going to be on my Instagram yes but that is because I could pose in it and not walk as soon as you walk in this dress it's off the shoulders but there's two like slits can you see that there you go it's better and when you walk these slits just go straight down and it just it just doesn't fit very well it's not the nicest it's a nice dress and it'd be nice if it was m like the it was thought about a bit more, like maybe some wiring in this bit. Surprise, surprise! Another black dress. Okay, so this one, I remember how much this one is. This one was £15. This is on my Instagram, actually. It was the first dress photo I posted a couple of days ago. It looks like this. It's like ribbed ribs material like that, it's not as see for as that, it's just I'm trying to show you the light and it's cut all the way down to here, you can't see this there you go, it's cut all the way down um, the reason I've decided, it's really nice, the reason I've decided to not to go with that is it's £15 and if it was a fiver I would have got it, it's just, it's not very well fitted for my boobs, I mean you girls like to like lean forward and then both of them just go ping out go for it but i don't really want to see that in the clubs anyway so i wouldn't want anyone to see me with it either all right next thing is is this what is this this is a dress of course it's a dress oh no it's not it's a play suit so the reason i didn't go for this Literally, this is all. Didn't go for this, didn't go for that, but the things that I've kept are last. So, if you want to skip to that, fine, but I'm just showing you guys what my order was and what sort of things pretty little thing having at the moment. So, it's a tassel um, play suit, as you can see, the tassels on the back, and then it ties around the back like this. But the reason I thought this was going to be basically for day trips, we're going on a cruise, so I wouldn't have a bikini on, and I was wondering what sort of thing I could wear with it and I couldn't wear any type of bra and it wasn't supportive enough not to wear bra. So that was the reason I didn't go for that one. To be fair, I could have told myself that from the picture on the website but it looked really good on the model and I kind of put it in my basket without thinking about bras and stuff like that. Next thing. Oh my God, I've got a rant about this dress. So. I got this dress in red, doesn't make a difference, in a size six about a half a year ago and it didn't fit size six. I was like, okay, fair, so gave it to my sister. And then I went, oh my God, I'll buy one in black. I prefer black now. I'll just, but I'll buy one in black for size eight because it makes sense. Literally fits like the six did. It just doesn't, like these do not stretch. Like, yeah, this looks quite big, but, like, you think you, these arms need to be able to, like, pull up a bit more. And I feel like pretty the thing, I've always thought this was pretty the thing, they make their arms, like, this small. Like, if your arms are this small, yes, you're fitting the clothes. If they're this big, nah. 
it's so tight on the arms. So I will be ordering this again, but I'll be ordering it in the 10 and then a 12. <laughs> then I start to think, right Liv, you need to go back to the gym. <laughs> Next is a dress. Oh, I quite like this dress. I was thinking about keeping this dress, but then I realized I got one quite similar in H&M a couple of weeks ago and it is better quality. So I did go for the one in H&M. Um, but it's just a simple plunge, long dress, I would go for this. This is one of my only things I'd probably keep still. But um, it's really nice. The only thing I would say is maybe go a size up. This is a size 8. It's just because it's very tight. Like just, you know when you're like, this is nice right now, but in a few hours time, I'm going to be like, get me out of this dress. But yeah, nice. And if you've got big boobs, definitely go a size up. No, two more things out of what I'm not keeping. This is... A grey jersey oversized shift dress. And I thought this would look really nice because it looked really good on the model. But it actually does make you look like you're just waiting for your baby clothes to fit in you. Yeah, not very good. It's nice though. If it maybe was a bit more fitted in a way. I know it's meant to be oversized. But if it was a little bit more fitted... And um, just a bit more, less heavy, like a bit more like summery, I probably. Last thing, which some people will like, but I thought it was a bit too, a bit too old for me, um, is this dress. So it looks like this, thick sleeve and then a skinny sleeve. And it's just, there's no slit in this, I don't think. No. And it was just all the way down. This would be really nice if you were into really into snake skin. You had a ball, like a summer ball or something like that to go to. Maybe a wedding. It might look quite nice. Oh, and then I've got one more thing, which I'm keeping. It's from Pretty Little Thing. My cousin gave it to me. Actually, I brought it off my cousin. Um, she didn't want it anymore. And you could probably get something similar, but I just thought I'd show it. It's part of my Pretty Little Thing pulling away and it is this skirt it's a latex kind of is it latex skirt and it was 10 pounds off my cousin but i don't know how much it's probably cheaper online to be honest now and um it's really nice with a boob tube boob tube never said that word crop top um or a bando that's the word i was looking for a bando <laughs> boob tube that's so like 2011 and then yeah this I'm gonna use out in the town stuff like that now I'm gonna move on to things I have kept and I'm just gonna go over to my cupboard and get those because I've put those away so the first thing is this blazer dress it's I'm still torn on this one because it doesn't look as good without a little top underneath so it's just a simple blazer dress. Pretty little thing are kind of known for their blazer dresses. It was £35, which is quite expensive. That's one thing about sending it back. Um, and yeah, it just does up. The buttons are really cute. I do like the buttons. They're kind of like, look like they've been smashed a bit. They look right, quite nice. Um, and yeah, it's better to show you this one, a blazer dress really. But yeah, the blazer dress. Next is this dress it's a snake skin what do they call it beige snakes in print strappy midi dress um it's quite nice i'm still torn on this one as well i've kept it as if i'm going to keep it but i will decide when i really have to send everything back but it is really nice it's just if you're quite short like me it kind of drains like drowns you out a little bit just a little bit though like i can easily get away with it Last, but certainly not least, are my bandos, which I love from Pusha's thing. So this is a, the, yeah, oh, phone's ringing. Uh, they're like slinky kind of material. So they look better on, you can't really, they just look nicer material. So I've got a blue and a pink, and they come in a set. You can get different sets, you can get like black and white, brown and gray or whatever. 
and I thought these would be quite summery. They come for two for ten pounds, which is really cheap because the quality of these are like is really nice. And then I also got this one, a little snake skin bralette. Yeah, nothing really much to say about this. Really nice. Goes really well with that latex skirt. So yeah, that's that's the last of all. So I'm now going to do a trial, but I'm going to do it to a bit of music. So this is the last you'll see of me. So please smash a thumbs up if you enjoyed my first video back on the YouTube scene. Press subscribe if you're new. Press the little bell if you actually want to see when I upload. You're like, want to see a not notification like you do with Snapchat and Instagram. And I will see you. I don't want to say very soon because I don't like to promise things. But I will see you soon with another video. Goodbye.